Once dismissed as a scientific sideshow, unstable, smelly and doomed to fail, lithium sulfur batteries were for decades considered more fiction than future. But now, the punchline just might be the plot twist, because quietly, in research labs around the world, a new wave of breakthrough is changing everything. Batteries that once lasted barely a hundred cycles are now pushing up to 25,000 cycles. Charging times have gone from hours to minutes. And the energy density high enough to double the range of electric vehicles or send aircrafts across continents without a drop of fuel. All powered by sulfur. The same element once blamed for the smell of rotten eggs, now potentially powering the electric future. So what happened? Could lithium sulfur actually dethrone lithium ion, the dominant battery chemistry that powered the last two decades of innovation? Let's find out. Why lithium sulfur? Why now? Let's start with this. Sulfur is cheap, plentiful and non-toxic. We already produce more of it than we know what to do with. It's a byproduct of industrial refinery. Compared to cobalt or nickel, which come with ethical mining issues and supply chain risk. Sulfur looks like a sustainable dream. But here's the real kicker. Sulfur holds more energy per gram than cobalt and it's much lighter. That makes lithium sulfur batteries perfect for electric aviation, drones and long range EVs. Basically any application where weight and range matters. In theory, lithium sulfur should have taken over years ago. But the reality had other plans. The chemistry of lithium sulfur is notoriously difficult. The biggest problem? Polysulfides, unstable components that form when sulfur reacts during charging and discharging. These molecules dissolve into the battery's electrolyte and wreak havoc. They leak energy, causing capacity loss, they coat the anode with isolating crust, blocking lithium ions, and they slowly kill the battery from inside. This so-called shuttle effect was the Achilles heel of lithium sulfate. Even if you started with high energy density, it would fade within a few dozen cycles. Add in slow charging, swelling problems and the risk of short circuits from dendrites. With these backdrops, lithium sulfate looked like a total failure. Up until now. The first sign of comeback emerged in 2009, when researchers at the University of Waterloo figured out how to cage sulfur inside a carbon framework. This helped stabilize the chemistry and prevent some of the worst side effects. By 2020, Montreal University made another leap, a new binding agent that gives sulfur room to expand, extending battery life to 200 cycles. It doesn't sound like much, but for lithium sulfate, it was a semantic shift. In 2021, they sweetened the chemistry, literally by adding sugar molecules that trap the polysulfides and push the battery past 1000 cycles. By 2022, Drexel University had a breakthrough on their own, using a rare sulfur form called monoclinic grama phase. It sidesteps polysulfide formation entirely and quadrupled battery life. Suddenly, lithium sulfate wasn't a joke anymore. It was a contender. Now let's cut forward to the cutting edge. At the University of Adelaide, researchers developed a cobalt zinc nanocatalyst that slashes charge time from 10 hours to 5 minutes. Their approach? Turbocharge the sulfur redox reaction without letting polysulfides escape. In South Korea, DGIST tackled lithium sulfate structural problems by using graphite scaffolding infused with nitrogen, a material strong enough to hold everything together, yet pours enough to boost charging speed. The battery fully charged in 12 minutes, with high capacity and no swelling. And Monash University? They are still breaking ground, this time with inspiration from Betadine, the brown antiseptic used in hospitals. Its key ingredient, PVP, turns out to be a great catalyst for lithium sulfur reactions. It speeds up charging cycles and could push lithium sulfate energy density to 400 watt hours per kilogram, nearly double that of lithium ion. This means EVs with a range of 1000 km, fast charging and no resilience on critical minerals. But the most jaw-dropping development, a battery that lasts almost forever. An international team recently published results in Nature describing a solid-state lithium sulfur battery that lasts 25,000 cycles, 
while retaining 80% capacity. Let that number sink in. 25,000 cycles is decades of daily use. It's the kind of battery that could outlast your phone, your EV or maybe even your next home. The secret? Iodine. It boosts the ion transport and sidesteps the usual surface limitations. Combined with solid electrolytes, it creates one of the most durable battery chemistries we have ever seen. But breakthroughs in the lab don't change the world. For that, you need manufacturing. Enter Lithen, a Californian startup that is scaling lithium sulfur tech with an eye on the future. They have developed a graphene cage system that contains polysulfides and improves battery life. They claim they can convert lithium ion factories into lithium sulfur production in just six weeks for less than 2% of the original cost. And they are backing that claim with action. A 1 billion gigafactory in Nevada, capable of producing 10 gigawatt hours of lithium sulfur batteries per year. If they succeed, they won't just be selling batteries, they will be reshaping the supply chains. So what's standing in the way? Despite the hype, lithium sulfur isn't ready to replace lithium ion just yet. There are still manufacturing challenges cost issues at scale and inertia. Lithium ion is deeply entrenched in our infrastructure, from factories to devices to vehicles. But specific use cases, drones, EVOTOL aircraft, space tech and off-grid systems, lithium sulfur might already be the better choice. And with every new breakthrough, the tipping point gets closer. So is lithium sulfur the future? It's not a silver bullet. Not yet. But it's closer than ever. We are watching a battery chemistry go from underdog to serious contender, thanks to a global race of engineers, chemists and innovators who refuse to accept the status quo. Will it replace lithium ion in your phone next year? Probably not. But in your next EV, your drone fleet, the backup system for your entire city? That's no longer science fiction. That's the reality, being forged right now. If you are fascinated by this revolution in energy tech, hit the subscribe button. We dive into breakthroughs like this every week, unpacking the science, separating hype from hope and showing you where the future is headed. And if you got a take on lithium sulfur future, drop in the comments, we want to hear it from you. Because the battery that powers tomorrow might smell a little like sulfur today.